Steam. 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 Hello, my name is Neil and I work for Boston Children's Museum. Today we are not in the museum, uh, we're in my home, as I'm sure you are as well. Uh, we're all practicing social distancing as we, as a society, uh, bounce back from uh, what's been going on, but we're not going to talk about that today. Today, uh, we're going to be doing some hands-on DIY projects at home. It's important for us to use our mind and our hands to keep ourselves busy. And uh, today, uh, I'm going to walk you through a hands-on project uh, where we'll be making a hovercraft. This hovercraft will use a balloon, which can be latex, but be mindful of allergies. If this was in the museum, we wouldn't be using latex. A bottle cap, uh, which can be found in a disposable water bottle or a two liter bottle. A hot glue gun. A thumbtack and a CD, which stands for Compact Disc, maybe a little before your time, ask some grown-ups about it. Uh, it was very popular in the 1990s and the early 2000s. The first step will be to take your thumbtack here, which is sharp, so be careful. Might be a good idea to have a grown-up with you and to poke some holes into the top of the bottle cap, like so. Maybe start with about four or five holes. Don't need too many more than that. See that there? Remember when using a hot glue gun that it is, well, hot. So it's a good idea if you have something like this. I brought a baking pan. Oh, just to keep my home nice and safe, I will keep that in there. So if it tilts over or falls over, I don't have to be too worried about anything going too badly. Once I have punctured holes in the bottle cap, I'm going to position it in the middle of my CD. You wanna make sure your CD is one that you're no longer going to listen to or use anymore. Then, using your hot glue gun, you will apply hot glue around the edge here. You want to try and make sure that you're creating a tight seal. You don't want any air to be able to escape between the gaps of the bottle cap and the CD. So while I do like to be resourceful, uh, you can be a bit generous with the hot glue gun here. I'm placing it back in my baking dish and I'm gonna let this set and cool for about a minute or two. It's a good idea to actually inflate the balloon ahead of time before you use it. Uh, if you inflate it first and let it deflate again, it makes it a bit more flexible. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Bear with me. When you inflate the balloon, you don't want to inflate it all the way. You wanna leave yourself a little bit of slack to work with here. This is the final step. Once you have blown up your balloon, you want to kind of like pinch the end between two of your fingers, but you're not going to twist it close as you normally would. You might want to put a few twists in just to help you be able to stretch it out and hold it in place without the air escaping. But then you want to be able to take the edge of it here like this and put it over the bottle cap. And this is a very tricky part, so bear with me here as I try and do this. Once I've blown up the balloon, I am going to take the end of the balloon while pinching it shut so that the air doesn't escape, and I'm going to surround 
the entire edge of the bottle cap with it, if I can actually get it on there. And there we go. All right. I'm going to keep it pinched, otherwise the air is going to escape. This is a good time to kind of think about what you think might happen. Why don't you make a prediction? What do you think is going to happen? I'm going to go over there and test it. Okay, ready to test this? Let's see what happens. Got a nice little hovercraft going. The air is escaping the balloon, leaving the poked holes. Well, uh, did not hover as well as I hoped it would. But for just using some materials I happen to have at home, this wasn't bad. Let's reflect quickly on what we just saw happen. As the air left the balloon, it had to go somewhere and went through the holes that we poked in the bottle cap. Uh, because we made it airtight by sealing it with hot glue, all the air escaped out of this one hole in the bottom of the CD. Thus, as it deflated, it slightly raised above the floor. Maybe not even as much as I'm showing here. But it hovered and mission accomplished. Thank you for joining me today with this project. Uh, if you'd like to do more, you can visit Boston Children's Museum's uh, social media pages, or you can visit the website, bostonchildrensmuseum.org, to find more information on how you can spend your time at home, uh, learning, exploring, and playing, and having fun. Thanks, see you next time.